find the one guy that we talked about making sure we found and caught him in five threes in a row. Uh, you know, there's just absolutely no excuse for that. We just let our offensive problems get into our deep. When you don't shoot the ball well against his own, you're going to have trouble. They were 9 for 18, and we were 3 for 21. Uh, you know, it's probably it's the worst shooting that we've had. Uh, I've never seen uh, James and Brandon get the kind of looks they got all night and just couldn't make anything. You know, Michael made a huge three uh, when it was one, but then they came down and we did a great job, I thought, defensively and council. I don't know how he made that shot and just threw it up there. But I think the thing I like about my team is they made that shot, everybody got up, it was a one point game. We came right down, attacked and scored. The key for us, I've never had uh, a situation where a kid who's never played, uh, well I did once, I had a guy named Sherman Douglas that never played and he was pretty good as a sophomore. He made first team all league and this kid's headed in the same direction, he makes really good plays. Uh, you know, he's a gamer, he's a competitive kid. Uh, you know, he, uh, his shooting is getting better. He works hard at it. Um, uh, people are leaving him open, but you know, he's capable of making those shots. And he made a huge one tonight. That was, in the first half, we were down eight when he made one. And then that one when we were, it was a one point game, we were at the end of the shot clock and he made it. Uh, I thought Providence played well, thought they had a good plan, and, uh, you know, that we, when you don't shoot, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to get ahead against teams playing his own. You know, they left the middle open, he was getting in the middle, and that's where he's good, right in the middle of that zone. They, the, the zone takes away some of our guard penetration, but it gives CJ an opportunity in there. And, he made some really good plays, and uh, that tip dunk was, you know, that was pretty good, pretty spectacular. But he was, he was very good out there for us. Well, it's always a good game. We've been very fortunate here to win a lot of games here. I think we've won more games here than any place in the, in the league. If you look, I don't know, it probably might not be right, but I think it might be. We've always played good here. We've always been able to find a way to win here. Fans are great. It's a great crowd. Uh, Dave Gavin started this league. And, the league has had an unbelievable run, that 34-year run that uh, nobody ever thought would happen. Uh, took nothing and made it into the best league in the country. Uh, I think it was inevitable because of the way things are going with repositioning football, basketball schools were going to, expansion was coming. It's not done. There's, you know, there's going to be more. Football, basketball schools really have to be together. You know, there never was the same interest you know, Penn State wasn't allowed in. That was a blow for Football League. I'm not sure that it, Penn State would have gone to the Big Ten anyway eventually, but if they would come in, it would have helped stabilize football. It's all been about football. It always is going to be about football. And uh, I think the schools that are left are smart, forming a league, a basketball schools league. I think they'll have a really good league. they got really good teams. They're in good cities. They're in good markets. I think they'll do well. Um, I'm, I'm obviously, as I've said many times, um, my whole life, basketball life, has been really in the Big East. And uh, so it's a very sad time when I come into a town. And we've been coming here for 34 years, you know. That's a lot of, a lot of history. Been a lot of great games, uh, a lot of great players coaching in here against, uh, you know, Rick. Barnes, Rick Patino, and uh, you know all the coaches that have been here, and the fan, fans are great here. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's every one of these games is a little bit of sadness uh, for me. And uh, you know, I know where all the good restaurants are now, and now I, I got to go down to Clemson, South Carolina. <laughs> I'm sure there's a couple Denny's down there. <laughs>
had our chances. You know, when, you, know you look right at the rebound and stat, and that'll tell you the game. You give somebody a great team like that 18, 18 extra opportunities to score. It's only going to be so long. I thought our initial defense was decent. Our initial defense, we just couldn't clean it up, especially when we went small. But I saw a lot of guys grow up today. Uh, I thought we played, uh, again, more with a focus. We've got to continue to do a better job uh, rebounding the ball and somehow try to get us a road win. You know, it's been a, it's been a different circumstance, you know. Uh, we can't build a culture of losing. Uh, and it, it's, been, it's just been frustrating. But this is the best I've felt about my team since, uh, since we played the University of Rhode Island. I thought that was our, one of our more complete games. I thought Vince Council probably played his best game since he's <coughs> been here. Uh, under control, played with points, played a lot of purpose. Uh, Cotton got it going pretty early. That name really was stayed to him. And other guys got to, you know, we got to step up and give them some support. Um, get back to the drawing board. I'm going to give our guys tomorrow off. I think they need a mental day off. Uh, and then we'll get back at it on uh, Friday. You know, we wanted to have special attention to Trish, their leading scorer, Sutherland. Uh, we really were locked in on him. Uh, we wanted to try to limit Carter Williams' assists. We wanted his assists, and he had two assists in the first half. And then in the second half, I think he got a little for five assists. We wanted, to, we wanted to make him more of a scorer than a facilitator. I thought we played hard. We gotta, we gotta, I got to teach this program how to win. We got we to learn how to win, and that's very, very difficult. When guys are uh, used to, you know, being close, uh, I'm not satisfied with close. Our program will turn around when we learn how to win. Jim, is there, based on how he's made his career playing his own stuff like that, is there any irony in that? Do you, do you look to them as kind of a... Uh, I don't look to anybody, yeah. nobody. We're Providence College, I can give two grants about any other team. We're gonna do what we need to do, you know. It's ironic that we played Syracuse zone. It's not the first zone Jim has seen. He's been around as long as I've been alive. They do a good job. I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame for a reason. He has great players. You don't get to the Hall of Fame with average players, brother. Hall of Fame coaches have Hall of Fame players. You know what? Our time will come. It's just not right now. You know, we need everybody to be patient and deal with the progress of uh, rebuilding.